Angry Guy here, and today we're discussing how feminists call Amber Heard an imperfect victim, and I have some real thoughts about this. Today we're discussing how feminists call Amber Heard an imperfect victim. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, okay, I'm maybe like almost a year late to the party, but still, I'm going to give you my opinion on this, and it's, it's pretty intriguing. So, for example... Amber Heard has been called an imperfect victim. This is actually a title over on The Guardian. Me Too is over if we don't listen to imperfect victims like Amber Heard. And this is so interesting. When even young women join the actor's male, <laughs> the actor's male tormentors, ideas of justice soon begin to unravel. Young women. So basically what's, what's happened here is a number of women just did not believe Amber Heard. They just did not believe her. They don't believe her story. The jury didn't believe her story. No one believed her story. The media didn't believe her story. The leftist media did not believe her story. Gail King did not believe her story. This is the same Gail King that tried to that tried to go after uh, Kobe Bryant after he passed away. All right, no one believed her story, and she lost, and she lost bad. Okay, and even now Johnny Depp he got his reputation back, but he still hasn't got his his position in Hollywood back, and he very well may never get that back. But if they, he did achieve one thing, is he did prove did show the world that he was the victim. I mean, there was literally a there was literally an audio recording where she said to Johnny, like you know, Johnny, you're going to go and tell the world that you're a victim. No one's going to believe you. No one's going to believe you, Johnny. And you know what ended up happening? He went and he told the world that he was a victim. And they believed him, all right. And the t the article, I, I am not paying for the. Uh, I am not paying. To, they're like, oh, this is still free to read. This is not a paywall. Register for free. Yeah, not doing it. The backlash to the Me Too movement was always coming. We know this because a backlash has followed every single step forward feminists have ever made. Oh yeah, the backlash. You know, we like password bros taking off. That's a whole other subject. But yeah. This backlash was always going to be big, too. Not only did Me Too threaten a status quo that prompts a powerful men, it threatened these men personally, and it seemed to some with reckless caprice. If somebody can be brought down by accusations like this, a White House lawyer said shortly after Christine Blasey Ford's allegations against Brett Kavanaugh were made public, that you, me, every man certainly should be worried. It wasn't just men who were worried. The idea that systems that previously threatened only women, minorities, and lower class men unfairly treated only women, minorities, and lower class men unfairly might be capable of doing the same to high status men was deeply unsettling to everyone. After all, when a man is treated badly, it lands with a double sense of burning and injustice. Women's stories of woe are so common that they can leave us comparatively unfazed. We feel bad. But we already know women are treated unfairly. It, it is priced in. Women's stories were all the same story, which is not to say it wasn't important, but it was boring, writes Taffy Brodset, uh, Brodesser, actor, in her, love, in her novel, Fleischman in Trouble. The first time I interviewed a man, I understood we were talking about something more like the soul. When something bad happens to a powerful man, it has not happened to a statistic. It has happened to a human soul. So you guys, anyway, guys, the point that I'm making here is that, you know, women are basically, women basically believe that they have a, they have a monopoly on victimhood. That's their superpower. That's what's given them everything by, you know, claiming to be powerful you know, powerful victims. I'm a victim, and I'm a powerful victim because I'm going to stand up for myself. Let me, it, and it's crazy because you know, women who experience things like grape, they don't go around saying talking about it. A lot of those women never talk about this. But then you have women who are part of hashtag Me Too, like they're so proud to put this out there. You know, I mean, look at what happened to Cosby. You had women who got up on the stand and literally admitted that they lied about lied about the things they said. You know, one of these women wrote a book. And she talked about 
you know, the grape involving Cosby in her book. And then she admitted on the stand that it was all fabricated because she had to sell books. She needed the money. But just because it wasn't true, what she wrote in the book wasn't true, doesn't mean that it didn't actually happen, that something didn't actually happen. And I, I think she, she actually got like compensated from, from like an insurance fund, which was absolutely insane. And we see this constantly happening with powerful men, men who've worked hard in their lives. A bunch of women show up. They make accusations that cannot actually be proven, all right? But they're still allowed to go in, they're still allowed to go into court, testify in court, and destroy the lives of these men, and then get tons and tons of money and compensation, fame, and uh, and use this to like springboard their careers again. It's absolutely ridiculous. And then the average woman that they claim that this was supposed to help, you know, poor black and brown women. These women, nothing ever happened. You think of some manager is talking shit to a woman at McDonald's and letting her know that she's either going to do this or she's out the door. You think that they give a shit? No, 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 no. This is only aimed at helping white women, powerful white women, to take money and power and prestige from powerful white men for their for themselves. That's all this that the hashtag Me Too ever was for. All right, it's uh, women today especially white women today are now powerful victims and are powerful bullies i mean the, the tire you know this is how the tire this is how the modern day tyrant operates they claim to be a victim and they hide behind victimhood when they're the tyrants they're the ones that are destroying society they're the ones that are controlling society but nothing lasts forever i've said this before i've said this before nothing lasts forever and it's going to continue. We're going to continue seeing the fallouts for all of this, all of this crap. Hashtag me too, and all the other bull, bullshit hashtags we've we've seen, we've constantly seen over the these past few years, and how they've damaged the lives of men. Here's another. This is an article from Time.com. The Depp Heard trial perpetuates the myth of the perfect victim. There's no, and they're basically they're trying to say there's no such thing as the perfect victim. You know, but that doesn't mean that all women can't be victims. I mean, this is this is sick. This is absolutely sick. It's like all women are all women can be victims, even if she's not a perfect victim. She is still a victim. It's and it falls in line with the believe all women, you know, message. Believe all women, regardless. Doesn't matter what they say. Just believe them, just because they said it. Like, what the heck are you talking about? I mean, Kotaku. Once upon, a, once upon a time, Kotaku was a popular video game website. Now it's literally co literally covering things about the Amber Heard trial. This has literally nothing to do with video games. It has nothing to do with media outside of Aquaman, which and that's not that's not the subject of you know that was brought up in the trial, but you know or Pirates of the Caribbean. No, this is this is talking about you know domestic issues and, and it's absolutely insane and vilifying vilifying amber heard shows we learn nothing from gamergate gamergate you mean the, the that event where these women basically one of them was like sleeping with an editor at kotaku and he was like giving her game her really terrible game good reviews and didn't disclose that he was in a relationship with her and then the gaming media was like Oh my gosh, look at these nerds. How dare you call us out? And yeah, anyway, guys, what do you really think about this? Oh, look at this ad. Royal Cat Royal Cannon, start your kitten strong. I don't know why I'm getting an ad for for kitten 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 mittens or, or kitten food, cat food, because I don't have a cat. So I don't know how they're targeting that. Are they like are they telling me, oh, you know why I get you know what it is? Because Amber Heard is going to be a, a lonely cat lady. She's going to be a lonely cat lady. So, yeah, the, that, it wasn't meant for me. It was meant for her. The, 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 the AI is still trying to figure it out. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments about this video, about the topic that we discussed today. You know, really, really touching on the notion that, you know, feminists are saying say that Amber Heard is an imperfect victim. But the truth is Amber Heard was not a victim at all. Amber Heard was actually the aggressor. This is something that was seen in court. There were messages. There were tons of people that came forward. She was faking. She was faking so many of the things that ha that had literally happened, and she was called out. And you know, there are still, of course, a small number of people that are trying to back her up. The feminists are still trying to back her up, even though they can't really figure out how to do it. They're just basically saying, "Believe all women. Why? Why?" You know, 
we should still believe Amber Heard, but she was found to be uncredible. You know, she was found to be a liar. The jury didn't believe her. The media didn't believe her. The leftist media didn't believe her. So why again are we supposed to believe her? Oh, yes, that's right. Because of China. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. If you agree that, you know, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And women in society are beginning to see that reaction with men walking away from society, walking away from women in society and going and focusing on finding their own happiness. It's not, it's, and it doesn't mean abandoning women, but it does mean leaving behind what doesn't work and finding what does, such as finding a woman overseas that is feminine, that is uh, submissive, and that wants to be in a relationship and take care of her man and her family. But yeah, I, anyway, guys, let me know what you think about everything we talked about in the comments, and you know we'll groove with it, we'll move with it, and we'll come to some conclusions on our own. Anyway, guys, like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, which is men walking away. And cheers.